Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with the aircraft carrier, but not in the sense that you would think. Uh, today what we're actually going to do is go ahead and get our plane uh, in the hangar over there. We're going to modify it slightly so it has uh, foldable wings. We're also going to change the propeller on it and hopefully we're then going to take off, fly it out to here and land it on the aircraft carrier. With that being said, as you guys can probably hear... One of the engines on this is definitely struggling, and I'm not entirely sure why. So we also need to figure out how to fix that too. Uh, and with that being said, I'm not entirely sure how much more work we are going to do on this thing. Uh, we'll probably just tidy it up a little bit and then get it going from there. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. Let's go ahead and get on with it. Okie dokie, so this is the aircraft obviously that we knew we now have. Uh, apparently, if I delete this and I actually replace it with a different propeller, uh, we'll actually get a, uh, a better ride. So, you guys are saying that the rotor is actually not the right one we should be using. Uh, we should actually be using this one, which is actually an aircraft propeller. Uh, and that will stop the, uh, the roll. So let's go ahead and see if that is true. I can't change how big it is, uh, but it does seem to be about the right size anyway. So let's go ahead and jump in. Get this thing into the sky and see if it rolls because if it doesn't it's fixed if it does then we're gonna cry but you know that's fine all right let's go let's see if it rolls this time if it does we'll see if it doesn't we'll also see oh it's stalling out our engine what how is it stalling out our engine uh, the new propeller is actually worse for us that's weird all right let's go ahead and replace this with like a one-to-one -one then uh, and see if the engine can deal with that it must be able to. Alright, ready? Go ahead and turn this on. Go ahead and do this up to full. There you go. And go! Yeah, okay. So one-to-one -one is actually completely fine. And taken off is actually fine. There we go. So there's no weird roll on this. Uh, it is actually completely fine. That is excellent. Four lowers down that. Five drops... Uh, sorry, three drops the bomb. Two? What does two do? The brakes. Yeah, two does the brakes. So now that we've got it airborne... Uh, let's go ahead and fly out towards the aircraft carrier and uh, see if we can land on it. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. All right, so as it turns out, uh, if you fly towards the aircraft carrier and it isn't actually spawned in in a version that is always there, then uh, it might actually freeze your game, which is exactly what's happened to me right now. Also, it gives me a chance to see that there is far too much smoke coming out of our engine. Uh, I don't know how I want to fix that, though, because there's there's a few ways of doing it, but I don't like the ways of doing it, so I'm not sure we will. Uh, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's going to happen right now. Nothing much seems to be happening, so I might have to restart my game. Okay, so we're back here. What I'm actually going to do is delete this right here, grab this propeller again, delete that, and put it in there. But we are going to change the color of it to this. So that it somewhat fits in there a little bit better. We're going to make it three blades instead of four. And there we go. That seems pretty nice. With that being said, uh, we're actually going to go ahead and add foldable wings, as I said I would. So let's go ahead and get ourselves one of these guys. We're going to go ahead and make it green. And we're going to attach it directly onto here, I believe. Uh, like this. But we need to do it on both sides. So let me go ahead and quickly do this. Then delete. Yeah, then delete them. There we go. Go ahead and put this back in here like that. And honestly, we're just going to go ahead and put one of these guys in, just like so. And I think that's that's probably fine. There you go. So paint these in like so. That seems good. Uh, we then need to actually grab this uh, all the way out to there, all the way backwards to here. Uh, go ahead and cut it and paste it again. There we go. Go to the other side, do exactly the same thing. Go ahead and uh, cut it and paste it again. There we go. Merge this with this. Merge this with this. And now we have foldy wings. Uh, with that being said, we then need a switch box, so let's go ahead and grab one of those, whack it in the rear, wherever we can, <laughs> wherever we can actually fit this, there you go, excellent, and um, we need that to attach to a number, which is actually one, so there you go, uh, we're going to go ahead and connect, no, yeah, no, we don't need it, con it to connect to a number, so this is going to connect out to here like this, it's going to connect out to there like that, and it's going to be on a button, which we're going to say is six, there you go, so six will fold our wings to a point, uh, 0.7. Uh, there you go. We're not going to have them come up all the way. Actually, maybe we should. Maybe we should. Let's just go with one. There you go. So now, when we spawn this in, we should be able to fold our wings all the way up to uh, the sky, and hopefully that will work. With that being said, uh, you guys can now see that we're laggy because the, uh, the aircraft carrier is actually in constantly. 
Um, I've got it spawned in so that we can always see it, which is interesting. Anyway, go ahead and press 6. There you go, the wings fold up to there. And to me, that seems fine. They do also fall back down, just about. Uh, there you go, very nice. Very nice indeedy. Um, Alright, ready to go? 3, 2, 1, go! Okay, so we should take off pretty easily again, like we did last time. Here we go, we're in the sky, excellent. Go ahead and get ourselves out towards where we need to be. And that should be excellent too. I don't know what's going on with one of my wings. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that wing on that side. But it seems to be having a few issues. Uh, it might be back to normal now. I think it is. So there's our aircraft carrier right in front of us. It's the light thing that we can see. Um, let's go ahead and put down our thingamabobby. There you go, our resting hook thingamabobby. And we should be able to fly over there, land, and get a hook on. Uh, hopefully that'll work. This is going to be a good test. I mean, to be fair, that is if we even need it. I think in Stormworks, sometimes it is easier to just land uh, normally rather than uh, trying to hit an arresting hook. Sometimes it is just very, very simple to pop an airplane down on the ground. Because uh, things stop relatively quickly, so hopefully this will work. Uh, I haven't done any of this, so that's good. Here we go. Go ahead and slow it down just a little bit. All right, here we go. The first ever landing attempt by an aircraft on our aircraft carrier. Is it going to work? We need to do it before we hit the bridge, too, because it is about to hit the bridge. All right, here we go. We're not lined up particularly well, but it shouldn't matter. Here we go. We're going in. We need to be a lot lower, but that's okay. Here we go. Oh, we're stalling out. We're stalling out. <laughs> we stall. Okay, right. We stalled out. So the main problem that I'm actually having here is not really the fact that the aircraft carrier is too small, too big, or anything like that. It's that the game slows down to uh, stop us from lagging. And by doing that, it's really hard to judge how quickly and how slowly things are going to speed up and slow down. So I'm not entirely sure how to counter that, but um, we'll figure it out. Also, I'm going to make it blue. We're going to make it blue on the top because I feel like that's a nicer color. There we go. Blue for uh, navy. Yeah, that, I mean, that makes sense anyway. So there you go. It's blue for the navy now. Excellent. But yeah, as you guys can see, I'm actually running right now and it seems very slow. It's it's very odd the way Stormworks works. But uh, yeah, we're going to try it again. Hopefully we'll get over there before the, uh, the boat hits the bridge. Uh, and that'll be good. Hopefully. Okay, just to avoid disaster a little bit, I am going to go ahead and drop our bombs because... Oh, the bomb. We only have one, unfortunately. But we're going to go ahead and drop it in these trees because that'll be funny. Here we go. Three, two, one. Drop the bomb. There we go. And then we're going to continue out there and hopefully land on the carrier this time. We totally got this. Also, I hit the forest. We did it. You know what? Our aircraft carrier is actually turning right now. I'm not entirely sure why that's happening, but it is turning. That's very strange. That is extremely strange. I think it's because one of the engines is not running to full capacity, and therefore it is just breaking the entire game. But with that being said, I guess it's fine. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. You ready? You guys ready? Here we go. We're going to do it so that we're not aiming for the end of the runway. We're aiming for a little bit past that. Here we go. Here we go, indeedy. Okie dokie. And... There we go, we got caught! We actually got caught by the last wire. Oh, excellent! It totally works! And then when I press 4 again, we disconnect, and now we should be able to take off again. That's sick! That's really, really sick! I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit risky though, wasn't it? It was very, very risky. I almost hit into this thing right here, and that would have destroyed us. But if you guys have ever seen World War II planes landing when they are limited on fuel and stuff, sometimes they do just smash into the superstructure and stuff. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and lower the wings down again. There you go, to a point where they're going to work for us. We're then going to go ahead and press 2, and we're going to take off again. Hopefully we can. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, that's sick. So we can now land and take off from our aircraft carrier, and it works perfectly well. That's awesome. Let's go in for another landing just to make sure it wasn't a fluke, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, if everybody's ready, we're going to do it a little bit differently this time. We're going to go ahead and turn in. Here we go. Oh, are we falling out the sky? Because I, I stalled it. Yeah. We're falling out the sky a little bit, but we're good. Okay, excellent. So there's the uh, aircraft carrier. Our resting hook is down. 
We're going in without a gyro on. Hopefully that's all right. I think it is. Uh-oh. We're stalling out again. Here we go. Oh, we're going to miss it. We're going to miss it. But let's take a picture because this is really cool. <laughs> let's take a picture because this is so cool. Look at it. It's just flying over our aircraft carrier. Awesome. All right, we need to go back around. So this thing does stall out quite easily uh, if you are not providing power, as you guys just seen. However, if you do accidentally hit the water, like we did just then, um... You can, you can get out of it, apparently. Uh, it can do water takeoffs. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, but it worked. But yeah, you essentially just need to make sure that you are always continuously providing power to this aircraft. Uh, otherwise, you will have some issues. So let's go ahead and stall it out a little bit because we need to go down. Here we go. Uh, this is a, a really bad way of landing an aircraft. I'm not going to lie. This is not how we wanted to do it, but there you go. I'm stalling down. Onto the aircraft ca Oh, we're going too fast now. We're doing it again. I'm not a very good pilot in this situation, am I? Watch this. <laughs> it caught us! Way! <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, if you were a good pilot, uh, you'd be able to land this perfectly. With that being said, I think if our aircraft was a little bit easier to control, it would also be a lot easier. And also the fact that the aircraft carrier is turning. Also not a good thing. But yeah, if I uh, decided to give us more time, fly out a little bit further and then actually be on short final for a little while, we'd have been a lot better off. But anyway, it totally works. It flies. We now have foldy wings. Uh, we can land on the aircraft carrier and that's all we need to know, you know? How awesome is that? That's so awesome. Anyway, uh, I am going to end this video here for now. Uh, we do need to do a little bit more work on the actual aircraft carrier itself. We need to make sure that engine is working again because at the minute it's broken. Um, and I want to move the gun controls as well. But other than that, I'm pretty sure we're pretty much done. I don't want too much detail on this to get it even more laggy. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.